You'll notice on the tables in front of you, I have a, um, some of the math materials. Um, those are uh, what you have in front of you is a, is a 4A textbook and a 4A workbook. And you also have a 4A, uh, 4B textbook and a 4B workbook. A means first semester, B means second semester. That's really what it comes down to. Um, as with any curriculum that we have, um, there's always more curriculum than there is time in a year. So we begin in 4A and we get as far as we can in 4B. We know there are some chapters in 4B that aren't state assessed at, this, at the grade level that our students are currently at. So we save those kind of the in. And if we get time, we get to them. And that's a great thing. Um, but we definitely focus on those that they're going to be assessed on um, coming up here in May. So um, that's our goal when it comes to the curriculum and, and the pacing. Um, I'll talk a lot more about Singapore here in just a minute, but I just wanted to give you that kind of brief what's in front of you. 2012 Singapore Family Math Night. Here we go. Our agenda for this little presentation is, um, I'm going to start with a video called D Did You Know? And I don't know if anybody has seen this video. It's just a short four and a half minute clip. Um, you can get it from YouTube. Um, it's available a lot of places. It just talks about the trends in technology, um, uh, how life has changed for our kids compared to when um, we were kids. And that uh, um, we've been doing some model drawing experiments with our kids, um, which is something I'll talk about a little bit later with Singapore. And um, we have some iPads. We received an iPad grant and, and got our hands on 32 of these iPads. And I remember we have some volunteers and some teachers that have been starting to work and do some model drawing on these iPads. And what we find out is it takes us six hours to figure out how to do something. We hand it to a kid and they can do it in 20 minutes. It's not teaching necessarily because you still have to teach the techniques. You still have to teach what we want out of them. But it's a tool and these kids love it and it, it increases engagement. These projectors we purchased um, about four or five years ago now. And um, engagement in a classroom when you're showing a visual increases tenfold. Kids are glued to it. They want to see what's going on. So anything we can do to help kids get motivated and engaged is a positive thing for us. Uh, then well, I'll talk a little bit about Singapore math statistics, just so you kind of know why Singapore, what made us even think about that. Um, we'll talk a little bit about. Uh, how Singapore math accomplished uh, their student success rates that they've seen. So I'll show a few statistics about that. Then I'll just start talking about the new math. Okay, that's the term that I hear a lot and uh, try to debunk that myth a little bit. And then the steps and the focus of Singapore, what their curriculum is all about, what they consider is important and why they get kids to the math standards that they do. And then, uh, then we'll have a little time for you to try a problem or two and then um, discuss uh, how you can help your math students. I bet that's probably a big part of the reason why a lot of us are here tonight is this stuff comes home, it looks different, I don't know how to help my child, what do I do? And, um, and I'll even encourage you to not help them in some ways. So we'll talk about that in a little bit when we get to that point. And then I want to talk briefly about mental math because it's a piece of Singapore that is absolutely crucial. And then at the end, any extra questions or, or whatnot or what you'd like me to find out. So we'll get started right away here if I can work the technology. And we'll watch this little video called Did You Know? And the main thing to think about when we watch the video is um, this is why we need to do things different. It's um, the old ways, not old, but the tried and true ways that we've taught a lot of our standards and we've taught a lot of our um, mathematics in the past uh, isn't going to keep up with the times anymore. So this is a, a, a reason why we're considering doing it a little bit different.
So there are a few things in that that are quite shocking to me, quite alarming to me. When you really think about it, um, what a student learns their freshman and sophomore year in college may not even be useful when they graduate as a senior is amazing to me. I mean, now, of course, that's a technical field. Thank you.